Holy Cross at Prayer for June 23rd, 2020. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the life of the needy from the hand of evildoers. And a reading from Romans chapter 6. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body to make you obey its passions. Do not present your members to sin as instruments for unrighteousness, but present yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life, and your members to God as instruments for righteousness. For sin will have no dominion over you, since you are not under law, but under grace. The key word here is grace, or gift. In baptism, Christ clothes us, or gifts us, with his righteousness. That is to say, he makes us right before God. In baptism, we get Christ, all of him. We get the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. As baptized believers, God calls us to live out who we are. Yes, the struggle can be fierce, for our desire is often to live as children of the darkness, hiding who we truly are, children of the light, under all of our selfish ways. But we are never alone. Christ, the one who shines his light into the darkness, sustains us by his grace. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, be with Jason this week. Give him your grace and teach him to learn more of your mercy with each passing day. Amen. O oh God, because your abiding presence always goes with us, keep us aware of your daily mercies, that we may live secure and content in your eternal love. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.